Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be recreating a set by this person here. I can't pronounce their name, so I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> but I'm going to show you, like, this is another how do they do that video. Um, I'm going to be using a lot of nail alchemy colours today. These are going to be perfect to create this look. Um, I've got salt stone and I've got lots of tips on my check magnetic tip holder from beauty big bang so this first nail i am applying i think i only apply one coat of white i didn't think i needed two for this bit so that cures in the lamp for 30 seconds and then i'm going to use rejuvenous these are part of the new spellcaster collection I say new actually, they're not the newest collection out, but this one's Cupidus and the last one I'm going to be using is Aqueous. We're going to use Aqueous first, this one here, which is the blue. So these are really nice, they've got really gorgeous iridescent glitter through them. I'll also need my detailer brush to help blend the colours together, though to be fair they do blend quite nicely with just the brush. I didn't, I wasn't aware of this initially. But there we go. So I'm going to put aqueous at the top of the nail, at the cuticle area. And I'm going to work it about a third of the way down the nail. Then I'd, I was going to use my detailer brush that's a little bit worse for wear. Um, I was going to spread the glitter out quite, you know, where I wanted it. But actually it was, it was spread quite out, quite, it had spread out quite nicely already. So I just thought I'd just go in with rejuvenous. I'm sorry, I'm not well today, so I'm not really very with it. I've got a temperature, I've just taken some paracetamol and I feel really rotten. Oh, the joys of bugs. I love this purple one. And then I'm going to put a little bit more of the aqueous at the top, just to darken it up a little, because I'm only going to put one coat of all these on. I'm not going to go in with two. And then the last one is Cupidus, which is the pink. Obviously, this is going to go at the bottom. You want to put enough on that you're, you're going to be able to blend them. So now I'm going to take my detailer brush and I am going to sort of do upwards brush strokes and downward brush strokes, just making sure that I've got glitter where the colours meet because I don't want a slightly paler white line across where they meet. I think, I'm hoping you'll know what I mean. So I'm just kind of trying to bring those glitters together. Push some down a bit if you need to. Then I'm going to do exactly the same on the bottom. Just make sure you just clean your brush off a little bit. I've just wiped it on that paper towel before I went in to the purple and the pink. See, they blend. You don't really have to work at them too much. They blend quite nice. You could probably even do it with the just the brush in the bottle. I'm just having a bit of a faff here because, you know, I like to faff. And then once you're happy with it, pop it in the lamp and it will cure in 30 seconds. Now you need Onyx. This is now Camille's Black. I'm going to pop a little bit on my mirror palette. So now you, right, I thought I'd do this bit first. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start slightly further out than what I need to go because I didn't want to go too far in and then muck it all up. So I'm going outwards and then I will gradually work my way into uh, where the free edge is. I'll gradually work my way into the centre there so that the black meets on either side. But I didn't want to end up with one side thicker than the other. So I've done it in little stages. If you've got a longer striping brush, it might be a little bit easier to do this bit. But I seem to manage okay with my seven millimeter detailer brush and then i'm just going to go over the top and color that cuticle area in you can do this with the bottle brush um uh, if you're doing it on a real person actually it might be probably i say that might be probably why do i have to say both might be easier to do it with the detailer brush because then you won't get the cuticle messy or do you know what I mean do you know what I mean um I'm just going to leave that as that one coat I'm not going to go over the black again so I'd neaten up that side a little bit and then I thought I'd try and neaten up that side a little bit it can look a little bit uneven because you've got glitter underneath 
but I was quite happy with that. So that cures in 30 seconds as well. Then we're going to take Nail Camille's Velvet Mat and we're going to cover the whole nail in this. Make sure you cover every, you don't want to leave any little gaps, otherwise you will end up with matte parts and shiny parts and you want the whole nail matte. It's pretty like that as well, but this is what it looks like. Matte finished. I love the black. Oh, I love matte over black. I think it looks so nice. Really classy, I think, anyway. And um, so we've got Onyx now. I'm going to apply. I'm pretty sure, again, I just used one coat of this because we're going to pretty much cover the whole thing up. This is just like a, a, a bit of a base layer. I mean, the coverage is pretty darn good anyway. But you're not going to see if there are any little patches underneath. I'm going to be using Chinti's Bloom Gel. If you don't have any Bloom Gel, I used way too much here. Um, I'm going to go back in and just get some of that excess off. If you don't have Bloom Gel, you can use um, Nail Camille's Base Coat. That should do the job just fine. All you really need is a slightly thicker, thicker gel. And Base Coats, I think, are sometimes a little bit thicker. I don't know, I don't know. But Base Coat, you, some people use Base Coat to do that with going to take the white we're going to use the white gel polish salt stone to create the rose so you you're not supposed to cure your bloom gel and then to create the rose i just do i start off with a little swirl and then i start off with a, another little swirl and then i'm going to push out the other side and then i'm going to do that all the way around so i start in the middle of the petal work it round one side and then go back in, start from the centre and then work it back around the other side. And then as you go further and further around the rows, the centre should start to bloom or blossom, whatever you want to call it. I have just moved my desk. God knows how I've done it. Um, but I've moved my desk so that my... My ring lamp is now up against the wall, so hopefully you won't have any more of this shaking that, that my camera seems to be doing now. It's, it's been really bugging me. <laughs> so I've cured this in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then I'm just going to go around the inside. I had to think about this before I started it. You have to go around. You don't have to go around, but I'm going to go around the inside of the petals with just some white gel polish. If you want, you can use Nelkami's artisan gel paints i wanted to use the white because actually this was just really fluky but the the white gel polish is a little runnier than the artisan gel paint so uh, and the the look that this is gonna when we put when we go to put the color on this rose now that we've outlined the edges it's gonna look a little bit like the edges of the petals have curled over you know, like some roses, the petals curve over a little bit. That is hopefully what this is going to look like. So cure that again for 30 seconds. Then we're going to use some colours from the Poisiden Glass Collection. I've got Water Sprite Hydra and I'm going to use Kelpie first, which is this gorgeous blue. These are really, really good. The Poisiden Glass gel polishes for creating like jelly nails. Um, I'm going to wipe off uh, most of the excess off the bottle brush because I want this to be quite pale and I'm only going to put one coat on. If you think this is still too bright because the, um, the, the nail he done, the rose, is, is a lot more pastely than this. So this is quite a lot brighter. You could mix some of the gel polish with some base coat or some top coat just to sort of thin it out a little bit. Again with the purple, I'm wiping a lot of the excess off but some of the polish just just then some of the polish that was on further up the brush did seep down the brush and end on the nail but it doesn't matter just we're gonna sort of make a an ever such a, ever such a slight sort of fade or blend you can do it with the brush that you have in the bottle just make sure you wipe your brush on any paper towel so that you don't get like purple in the blue or purple in the pink you know you don't want to contaminate your gel polishes. And I just thought I'd use the detailer brush to try and blend it in a little bit more. I don't know that it helped that much. So in the end, I kind of just gave up. So can you see what I mean by it looks like the petals are curling around? 
it looks quite nice i thought it was a it was a mistake i didn't mean actually to do it <laughs> uh, i just seen other people do it before and i was like oh i might try that and then i couldn't work out if it goes on the outside or on the inside and then afterwards i was like oh yeah it's the inside <laughs> oh dear um cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds then go over again with your velvet matte top coat making sure you cover all the nail bung it in the lamp and this is the finished rose. So we've got these two nails done so far. The next nail we're gonna do, we've put a layer of salt stone. We only need one coat, you don't need two because the coverage is pretty good anyway. Um, I mean, if, it, if you're doing it on a client, you might decide that you want two. I felt on this tip, I only needed one. I'm gonna go at the top with Cupidus. And then the bottom, I'm going to go in with Rejuvenous, which is the purple one, obviously. And we're going to do like what we did with that first nail. We're going to create our uh, a fade or an ombre. And um, this time I'm doing it with the brush. And I think I do get my, yeah, I just get my detailer brush just to move some of that glitter around just so that there aren't too many. I didn't want it to look patchy. And then I am going to take my detailer brush and the Onyx gel polish to create a little, what do you call this? Like a triangle coming up from the free edge. This was, it ended up a little bit wonky, wonky donkey, um, but <laughs> um, in the end, I did put a crystal over the tip of the triangle, the triangles. Is it called the apex of the triangle? Oh, it's a very technical word, isn't it? it sounds like a, the triangles and nails, you know, just shut up, okay. Um, I do, yeah, and then we're gonna go just ever so, ever, ever such a thin line around the outside edge. The uh, the black went too far onto the nail then, so I just got rid of it with my finger, which is a bit naughty. They were just a really thin line. I couldn't work out if there was a black line around this one or not, but I decided to put one in anyway. I thought it kind of went I th well I thought there was but I wasn't sure so I thought we'll just go with it anyway um, and again um, cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds and then use the velvet matte top coat to top coat the nail and make sure you cover the entire nail Ta -da! and we are now here you can see what I mean at the top of that triangle is wonky it looks like my kids the the uh, tip of my kids paper aeroplanes you know the noses when they have thrown them too far or hit a wall or something it just goes a bit <laughs> so the last two nails i'm going to be using the um saltstone and rose quartz rose quartz is a sheer pink now it looked like he'd done an ombre it didn't look like the tips of the nail were i know doggo it didn't look like the tips of the nails were bright white so i decided that for the first coat i would cover the entire nail with the rose quartz gel polish because you can still it, it, it took me a little while actually to get it not to look like there were any dark lines of the pink I wanted to get it nice and smooth you see like it's got nice even coverage and then I've cured that and all I'm gonna do is go sort of between halfway and a third uh, two thirds of the way down the nail and just blend it off so that it looks a little bit like an ombre and then if you are not happy with that, you can, again, take your detailer brush and just brush some of that gel polish down. It just might help create that, that fade. So you see my camera moving. So bloody annoying, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have sorted the problem now though. And then again, we're gonna go over with our matte top coat. We're gonna do this twice. I've only showed you me doing one though, obviously, because you don't need to see it twice. If you do need to see it twice, just fuss, uh, rewind this one a bit <laughs> and there we go and we've got what looks like a kind of it's not the neatest ombre but it is an ombre and we are going to cover them with crystals anyway i decided i was going to use the black artisan gel paint and then i changed my mind because i was sent this this spider gel stuff or silly spring what silly spring silly string whatever you want to call it from banggood.com i got a white and i've opened the white already and the white was absolutely fine there was no issues with it so i was like okay i'm gonna try this i hadn't i'd forgotten that i'd not opened this one and i thought oh this will be a perfect opportunity to try and create a straight line with it anyway i open it up and it looks brown 
can you see it looks brown and it's like whatever it's made up of has kind of separated and it smelled a little bit like paint paint like it was look, it hadn't it separated there was like some oily substance on the top and then it was like the gel was all underneath so I took a gel stirrer and I mixed it all together in the hope that I could save it and it kind of I almost thought they'd sent me a little bit of venom in a pot you know the, the venom guy from the Marvel comics look it look it's so oh look at that it is it is pretty cool but this one it actually it wasn't quite it didn't quite work out how I wanted it to though by mixing it it did obviously make it it did you know sort out my issue um, and I used a dotting tool and I, I went out of shot here anyway I didn't think that line was gonna be thick enough so I ended up putting a black line down one side and I forgot to show you it so it's I mean it's so stringy but look, I've got one really cool line there and then I'm gonna try and create another one but it went a little bit wonky I was a little bit sad about this because it was almost like perfect I'll have to show you another video with the white one look it just went a little bit dodgy at the bottom there um, so I took some isopropyl alcohol and cleaned it off then I decided to use my artisan gel paints to create two fine what was that two <laughs> I didn't know what I was gonna say two finish black lines you don't want them too thick but you don't want them really thin um, down the sides of the nail if you've got a striper brush it might be a little bit easier than using my uh, this seven millimeter brush which would be shorter than a striper brush but actually it's done the job pretty well so I was happy with that the artisan gel paints cure for one minute in an LED lamp so just double cure that if you well not double cure it but you know two lots of 30 seconds and then again go over with your velvet matte top coat because all the nails are going to be matte finished and this is what the nails currently look like we need a little bit of nail sugar in this set and i'm gonna use some crystals because i love these these are champagne colored crystals they are gorgeous i've also got my kiara sky base because i can now open it thanks to my other half they do have their uses these men you know <laughs> I'm gonna put, he used a gold hollow triangle here, but I am gonna use a big-ish champagne crystal to go here because I just felt like it would go with the rest of the set. There we go. Oh, aren't they, oh my God. I'm gonna do a cluster in a minute and it's so flipping nice. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put the crystals here. Uh, I'm gonna taper them down the nail, about halfway down. So as I go down the nail, the crystals are going to decrease in size. I think I put four on. I thought that was enough. So I'm not exactly matching his crystal placement, but you all know that is my weak point. Um, also, he oh he didn't have one here, but I felt I needed to put something here just to cover up that that dicky um, that dicky triangle tip. <laughs> and then I'm going to put a cluster here on the top left hand corner of the cuticle area because this is going to be my thumb so i felt like i could put it in that corner and this could be the thumb or it could be the pinky though they, they, all the tips i've used are the same size but whatever whatever floats your boat you can do something completely different so this is this would be how i would recreate that set that he's done um i think it's a bloody gorgeous set obviously his is way nicer than this one but I still like mine. Maybe I'm biased. I just think his is better. <laughs> but there we go. Um, I just want to show you the crystals on here. Oh, they're so nice. Oh, if you do want to purchase some from Nail Sugar, um, if you use code NATMUG10, you will get 10% off your entire order. Um, I'll leave Nail Kami's link in the description box below. I will also leave beauty, um, no, banggood.com's um, the link to the black gel in there as well. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And I'm hopefully going to see you all tomorrow. I know, right? We're getting a good this week. Bye!